Elizabeth Choi Su Mei, also known as Yong Su Mei, was born on 29th November 1910 in North Borneo, today known as Sabah, and died on 14th of September 2006 in Singapore. She was born into a Hakka family and was credited for being a wartime heroine during the Japanese occupation. She was also known for her tea pals, which were Chinese traditional dresses and bangles. Thus, she was nicknamed the Yak Woman of Singapore. Her great-grandparents had been assisting German missionaries in Hong Kong, and their work had brought them to North Borneo. There, the Yong family set up a coconut plantation. Elizabeth's father was a civil servant, and her mother was the daughter of a priest. Later, they married in North Borneo. Then, Elizabeth was looked after by Kadazan Nanny and acquired Kadazan as a first language. Later, Elizabeth's father was put up in Phnom, where there were no educational facilities. So, Elizabeth and her siblings were sent back to Kuda, where her paternal grandfather ran the village school there, teaching in Chinese. As she grew older, she was educated at St. Monica School, an Anglican missionary boarding school in Sandakan from 1921 to 1929. Because the teachers could not pronounce Chinese names, she adopted the English name Elizabeth. In 1925, she and her aunt Jessie became the first girls to sign up for North Borneo's Girl Guides Company. By 1927, she was teaching at lower standards even while she was studying. In December 1929, she came to Singapore to further her studies at the convent of the Holy Infant Jesus at Victoria Street. She shone academically, obtaining the prize of honour in her first year of school in December 1930. She lived with her fourth uncle at Selegi, where he ran a music shop at High Street. The untimely death of her mother in 1931 and the Great Depression placed upon her the burden of raising her six younger siblings. She forewent a college education, even a possible scholarship to start work so that she could pay for her siblings' education and support her family. During the Japanese occupation, Elizabeth worked as a canteen operator with her husband at the mental hospital, which was renamed Miyako Hospital then. It is now known as Whitbridge Hospital. Despite being aware of how dangerous their acts were, they secretly brought food, medicine, money and messages, and even radios, to British prisoners of war. Unfortunately, they were caught red-handed by the Japanese and Elizabeth was arrested on the 15th November 1943, after the arrest of her husband on 29th October 1943. Although she knew the ruthlessness of the cap and tie, she did not give in to them during her interrogation. Life was hard for Elizabeth. She had to survive 200 days of starvation diet and repeated torture. She was stripped and severely beaten by the Japanese. Worst of all, the Japanese carried out electric shock treatment on Elizabeth's bare body. Only after the agonizing 200 days, then she was released. After the war, Elizabeth was invited to England as a celebrated war heroine and noted as the only female local to have been captured for such an extended period. She went there as part of the privileged few who were invited to Britain to recover from the war, but her stay extended three more years, totaling four years there. In her first year, she was invited to meet Queen Elizabeth. In her second year, she took up domestic science at Northern Polytechnic, and in her third year, she taught at a London Council School. Intent on studying art, but without the finances for it, Elizabeth resorted to posing for art instead. The famous sculptress, Dora Gordon, made two sculptures of her, Serene Jade and Flawless Crystal. Elizabeth gave her copy of Serene Jade to her daughter, who, in turn, donated it to the Singapore Art Museum. Her copy of Flawless Crystal sits in an art gallery in Leicester, Britain. She returned to Singapore in December 1949 and was persuaded to stand for elections in December 1950 for the Westward or Carnhill constituency under the banner of the Labour Party. However, she lost 
in the 1951 city council elections to the Progressive Party representative, So Gi Soon. However, she was nominated into the Legislative Council that year, becoming the only woman member there. She served for a full five-year term as a member of the Legislative Council. She represented Singapore at the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II in June 1953. She later stood for elections in Queenstown, but then quit politics, believing she could do more for the country as a teacher. Her husband was Choi Kun Heng, who was born in Hong Kong and was the brother of the fiancé of an old school friend. He married Elizabeth on 16th of August, 1941. It was a double wedding held in conjunction with Elizabeth's brother, Convoy's wedding. Kun Heng worked as a bookkeeper at the Bonio Company before the war. Her daughters were Bridget Wai Fong, born in 1950, and Lynette Wiling. She also had a niece, Irene Waifan. All were adopted in the 1950s. Awards. In 1950, she received the Order of the British Empire and the Order of the Star of Sarawak, as well as the Girls' Guide Bronze Cross. In 1973, she was also awarded the Pinkat Bhakti Sertia for her service of at least four decades in education. Elizabeth passed away on the 14th of September 2006 at her home in McNeese Road. She was diagnosed with advanced cancer of the pancreas one month before her death. Elizabeth Choi is certainly an unforgettable war heroine of Singapore. She was brave and courageous, especially during the war when she was in prison. She also had a determination to succeed and was selfless. Most of all, she had fortitude and displayed great loyalty to Singapore. Well, I want people to remember me as someone who loves peace no more. You know, be kind to everybody, so everybody living happy lives and helping one another, the strong helping the weak, the rich helping the poor.